Hey everyone, welcome back and happy new year. I'm Jen Sorensen and this month we are doing something a little bit different. New year, new techniques. So in all of my soap videos, we are going to be experimenting with some new techniques, some new kind of ways of making some soap. And in our very first one, we're doing something a little bit different. Well, I could say for every single one, this was really different. We're adding salt into the bars to make salt soaps. Now, as you guys know, I live near the ocean and these are heavy on the coconut oil. They're all, almost entirely, there are a few other oils in there, but mostly coconut oil. Coconut oil lathers in salt water. So being near the ocean, I thought this would be a great bar to have as Seacoast Suds. And, and I thought it'd be helpful to have that for some of my friends and, and family members that may go out on the ocean and want some soap there after their, you know, out on a boat or doing something like that. Let's jump in, see how I make this, and we'll talk a little bit about why add salt to a salt bar, to a soap bar. Let's jump in and see how the heck this is made and what it looks like. All right, we're doing something different, which is the theme of the month. New year, new techniques, new, new, new. So for this one, I have been seeing every now and then recipes and videos for salt soaps. Now, this intrigues me because you guys know I'm Seacoast Suds. I live near the beach. And this is a soap that while it has salt in it, and I've got two bags of Australian sea salt here. This has a lot of coconut oil. Like I would say significant portion of this is coconut oil. I would have to do the math, but at least three quarters of the oils in here. In this, I also have, so I've got the coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, and castor oil. And then I am going to add my lye water, which also has tuss of silk in it. And I use this sometimes when um, I'm working at a higher temperature. Normally I soak at room temperature, but I just made this. And I'm honestly, I'm just gonna hand stir this right now. In addition to, and, and actually, I'm just gonna add my fragrance oil right here as well. And see if I can get this incorporated pretty good just by hand stirring. This fragrance oil, again, we're kind of doing, we're doing a sea salt soak. And this is something that I kind of wanted as seasonal. So coconut oil is an oil that will lather up with salt. So in salt water near the ocean. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is just pulse this ever so slightly. Oh, and you know what I need to do? I need to add a little bit of mica here this is a raspberry red mica. I just got the sample, so I thought I would use it because it goes with the coconut, not the coconut, the watermelon scent. So I am just going to give this a very, very light pulse. I don't want to do too much. I mean, I want to incorporate everything entirely. Okay, I think that's good. So in addition to my oils, I have um, coconut milk powder in here and kaolin clay. Kaolin clay is really just going to help the scent stay strong within this. And this is a really pretty watermelon scent. You know, it, it's definitely a little bit of a candied watermelon, but I'm getting some other like melon scents to it. Um, it's just, it's a really pretty scent. And I thought it would go well with this. I wanted something coastal. I had this on hand and I thought it would be really pretty. All right, this looks pretty good. And now what I have done is I have two 16 ounce 
containers of sea salt here. Now the recipe calls for 30 ounces. So what I've done, I have two ounces in here that I already pulled off, which gives me 30 ounces. So that's what I've got. And now I'm just going to pour in all this sea salt. These bars are going to be rock solid. It's almost gonna be like a pumice sand. It's gonna be really, so if you've got like rough feet or something, this would be great. You know, use it up after um, a day at the beach. You can scrub your feet or your whole body. Okay, yeah, I definitely feel this kind of coming together, tightening up. So I really need to add all of this salt in. This is a fine grain salt. I want it to be pretty fine. Let's get everything in there. All right, I really want to incorporate this well. So this is gonna set up pretty fast. They say I should be able to unmold this in a few hours. Now it is eight o'clock at night, so I am probably going to just unmold this early in the morning since I gotta go to bed and all that. Um, what I am anticipating is that this is going to lighten up. It's not gonna stay this color. I have a feeling it's going to be a much softer pink, which I am okay with. And I really want to make sure I'm getting everything. So I'm, I don't want any chunks of salt in here. I want it to be nice and smooth. Now I know that salt bars are not going to be for everyone. If you're someone that has dry skin and you're flaking and you need to kind of get some of that off, this is good. If you have oily skin and you want to get this off, because these bars of soap, are not just for your hands. Like I use them in the shower. I've actually had people like, hey, what would you recommend for the shower? Any of these soaps that I make could be used in the shower, not just for your hands. So I wanna make sure that's clear. This one I probably would not use necessarily just for my hands unless like say you're a mechanic or you're doing a bunch of stuff outside and you really need to scrub your hands. All right, I am really, really happy with the consistency of this. So as you can see here, I have my brambleberry mold here, but this is not my five pounder. This is my 18 bar mold. I opted for my first time doing the salt bar to just do one color. Maybe next time I'll do kind of a marbled effect. I'm gonna scrape as much as I can out though, because Obviously want all that yummy, yummy goodness. This smells really lovely. Um, the other thing is if you are, say, going boating on the ocean, this will lather up in salt water. So you can use this, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to start carrying some of these salt bars, is that you can start using this in salt water. So I wanna start carrying a few of these in some different scents. I'll probably mix up the scents that I've got going, but um, I wanted to make sure that I had some of these. I'll probably make a couple more of these before launch or after, we'll see. All right, so we have that, and now I have my dividers here. And I'm just gonna kind of push this in. I absolutely love how it kind of like creates this bubble effect with these, that they, they kind of have these beautiful sides to them. All right. Honestly, I really just want to leave these very simple. I don't want to do anything to them. Um, I thought about adding some poppy seeds to look like watermelon seeds, but honestly, I'm just going to spritz with some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to let this sit overnight. I will bring you back here. Really, I could do this, um, unmold this likely in a few hours, but you know, like I said, I'm going to bed in an, hour, in an hour and a half or so. So they won't be ready just quite. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to unmold these and see how they are. 
And I'll be really curious to see what you guys think about the salt bars. All right, you guys can't smell this, but it smells fantastic. Mmm, that watermelon. It almost has a little bit of a coconutty scent to it, and this is heavy. I don't know if you can also tell, but you can kind of see this ring, which tells me this might have gone through gel phase. So this has been a little, woo, okay. <laughs> wow, that just popped right out. This is a nice bar of soap. It's hard, but it's, man, this is beautiful. Mmm, smells so nice. So let's see. I'm thinking, if I look, can I twist? All right, so I've got some of these out. I'm trying to see how I can get some of these soaps out. We'll start with the corners, maybe. I'm kind of twisting them. There we go. All right, there's another one that just came out very easily there. Just trying to kind of peel. There we go, okay. This is the top, by the way, this wood is the top of the mold. All right, here's another one. You can see it didn't quite go through all of them. That's fine, you can kind of see where the marks are vaguely. So let's see what we can do here. There we go. I love how smooth the sides are. Like it, you can tell that they're a little shiny. Yeah, there you go. Um, but they are, they are, they are some solid bars here. Let's see. Can we? Yes, there we go. Ah. Oh. You know, I wanted these to be pretty simple and I think that's exactly what they are. Next time, maybe I'll do a two color swirl. And I don't know if you guys can tell based on what you are seeing, but these absolutely got much lighter than they did. And I was anticipating that. The salt's gonna do that. There we go. Yes, I wanted to see if I can get that out. See, this is the great thing about this is it just kind of slides right out. So now the next ones, yes. And there may be some areas where you get a little bit stuck to the mold. It's fine. I mean, it's a salt bar. These things are going to cure up pretty hard. All right, let's see. How about this next one? Really what I'm trying to do is slide them and not just be too forceful with it. So if I slide this out, yeah, sliding that out really works. You are gonna, I am gonna get a few of these here and there. I mean, it is what it is. And I'm finding here that if I work this, ooh, and I'm getting this middle one is coming out here. All right. I uh, definitely ordered more sea salt here to make more of these because after making this first batch, I could tell that I am going to so love these bars. Like I can just picture using them to scrub my elbows and my feet and all these different things in the shower and it's just gonna be such a luxurious spa-like feel. So let's see, can, ooh, that just came out. Let's see how some of these, yeah, and the more, cause like that one's out. I'll clean these up a little bit too. That one's out. Okay, let's see how we're doing with these remaining few. We've got that one. All right. This is coming together nicely, or actually coming apart nicely. And I don't even have to cut it. This is just unmold and go. All right, I'm just gonna twist that. Oh yes, okay. I'm gonna let these cure for a little bit and I will check in with you guys soon. I think I might make a few more batches in a few different scents. Maybe I'll do some marbling to see how they turn out.
but I will check in with you guys shortly to see how these cure. They smell amazing. That is for certain. But I got, I got a mess here I gotta clean up. Okay, so I ended up curing the bars for a little while and they are rock solid. Like these things are bricks. There's a little bit of soda ash, but I was told that was to be expected. Um, what I've been doing is using one of them here. So you can see that it lathers. You can see where I've been using it, the lather of it. This thing is solid. It's hard. These are hardy, hardy bars. And um, it takes a little bit in the beginning to kind of get it to lather, but once it does, this is great. It smells fantastic. The scent has really held up. It's got that kind of salty watermelon. If you've ever had salt on top of watermelon in a salad, it's fantastic. I also made another one, and this one is, I put some um, coarse salt on top. This one is scented in a spring rain scent. And it, uh, it smells very kind of um, watery and like, I, I wanna say there's a little bit of earthiness to it, but it's very fresh, very bright in a fresh kind of way. It, it's really hard to describe, but it smells really great. I wanted something a little more masculine, but this is unisex, totally unisex. Um, and I think this would be great for someone that is a mechanic or using their hands a lot after you're out gardening. It doesn't feel very coarse in your hand. You don't really feel the salt per se as you're using it. it just, it, it's a really nice, as, as you can see, I'm like lifting weights with these things practically. They're hardy. These things are gonna last a long time. Um, but I think you're gonna like them. Let me know if you like the idea of this kind of a bar, salt bar, um, something that's hardy like this, a little bit different for some different uses. Let me know. Um, but I am going to be listing these in the shop this week. So you're going to be able to get them right away. Um, definitely the uh, watermelon one. Look for salted watermelon in the shop. Otherwise, I will see you back here real soon to check out another new technique that we're about to try out. But until next time, get out there, create something absolutely beautiful. Do something good for yourself. And I will see you real soon. Have a great day.